The historic Pittsburgh community of Atlanta is one that has been predominantly African American. It was once this really thriving place for black families. When I think about its rich history and think about the contribution that it made to the city of Atlanta overall, I am troubled with the conditions of the neighborhood today. And when the foreclosure crisis bottomed out in 2008, this neighborhood really started to experience it in 2007. And my neighborhood, Pittsburgh, became the poster child for foreclosures across the nation. I'm LaShawn Hoffman, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia, and I work at the Pittsburgh Community Improvement Association. The work of the organization really entails of how we empower people to change place. We really started with community safety. Everyone wants to live in a safe neighborhood. We started to think through what were the safety issues, how can we bring people together around safety, but also use this as an opportunity for restoration of some of the more historic landmarks that are within the neighborhood. The next body of work is really around community building, and that is how do we link families to other families, how do we link families to resources, and how do we do things within the neighborhood to really lift up community pride. And so we really try to empower families to think through kind of what are the next best options for them. Um, and then our last body of work is around community economic development, where we tie in housing and where we tie in commercial use and we think about what does revitalization of this historic place look like. Where we're really clear is that housing is a tool. And I think a lot of people use housing as a catalyst. And in this neighborhood, I realize that the people are actually the catalyst, not the actual structures that are within the neighborhood. When we create positive, kind of green built, energy efficient housing, for low to moderate families within our neighborhood, um, it's really about how do you transform this place that respects its history, that really kind of embraces the change within this ever-changing city, and being able to say that these are families that have just as much as rights at, as any other family that's within the city limits. Some of the other work that's really gratifying is kind of the get out to vote work that we did and so it really engaged our youth and um, I think about the housing units we've been able to complete. Seeing the families move into these great units, they're energy efficient and has received kind of the highest green standard that we can provide so that their utilities are low as well. It's one kind of meaningful way that we know that we're helping them to build wealth. I'm excited about the other lobes that are serving with me in this class. The wealth of knowledge that they have and the opportunity for me to gain some of that knowledge and them being as free to be able to share it with me, right? Um, so um, I've had a really in-depth conversation with Scott Campbell who runs a conservation land trust and thinking about his conservation model compared to my community land trust model as, as we're both trying to preserve places, right, in perpetuity him being kind of a natural landscape, me being permanent affordable housing, but how they, they both speak to each other. 